If you need an easy tutorial to learn how to build stunning animated slideshows in Photopia with as many photos, videos and songs as you want, you're in the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to create slideshows in Photopia from start to finish. Together, we'll import and combine photos, videos and music and create a creative video slideshow in minutes. In the comments below, please let me know how you found out about Photopia and what you want to create with this application. Welcome to Katia's Buzz. I share great tips to help produce more professional, interactive and engaging media content. If you like this video, please subscribe to Katia's Buzz and press like, I'd really appreciate it. Lately, I have built many presentations for large events using Photopia instead of PowerPoint and the audience loved it. So, step one. Download Photopia Director or Photopia Editor at photopia.nl. If you don't have it yet, use a free trial to test its capabilities. I fell in love with the app and have been using it a lot since I discovered it. Step two, have all of your photos and videos ready and copy them into a folder. That means you already worked on them, you enhanced their quality, cropped them the way you want them to appear. If you don't do this step first, you will regret it. You will waste a lot of time later on trying to fix the photos and the overall quality will be affected. At the end of this video, I'll show you my workflow and how to get all the photos and videos ready for import in Photopia. Step 3. Let's create the mock-up, the start of the project and we'll fine-tune it later. This step will build the presentation really fast. It won't be what you want, but it'll save you hours of work by getting it started on its own. So, in Photopia, click on New Project. Click on the large wizard icon, write your title and pick the aspect ratio in the pull-down menu. You can select tags and keywords and choose the folder where you will save your presentation. Click Create. Click on Continue to Wizard. There is a slight issue with Photopia, particularly on a Mac. The window is larger than your computer screen, so you have to constantly move the windows around to access the different options you need to make modifications on. It's annoying, but Photopia is aware of the issue and hopefully working on fixing it. Choose all themes. So once you're on the Wizard setting, you can change your themes if you click on Change here. You can go to grouping and say allow the wizard to group multiple photos on the same slide. You can also allow the wizard to change the order of your photos if that's okay with you or you can decide not to have them uh, change the order. It's up to you. You can change the pacing of your slideshow which means the speed in which the slideshow will appear. So you can either go to 200% or 20% and that will really decide how quickly your slides go from one to the next. And at the bottom here, the audio syncing is actually a really good feature where it actually adjusts the length of your slideshow to match the length of the song you've chosen or any piece of music that you would like the slideshow to be matching to. And at the bottom here, you can decide which layout will open in Photopia. So you can do advanced, compact, basic, or light. I usually tend to use advanced, but you can pick any which one of them. And from then on, you just press next and go to the next selection, where you're going to pick your photos and then your music. Step four, upload all images. Go to the folder where all your photos are located and import them. If they are in different folders, no worries. You can upload as many photos and videos as you want at any time during the process. But if you want to include them in the wizard, which is recommended, you should have done step two and prepped all your files and placed them in a single folder. That's a great workflow. Also know that Photopia imports everything and also copies all these files into a folder where the project is being created. That's great because you will always be able to open the project later and not have any issues finding all the files in the project, but it will create a copy of many photo and videos, probably in high resolution, HD, 4K, so of course it will take space on your drive. You may want to consider how you will manage that mainly if you do a lot of presentations. Step five, search for music or upload your choice of music for the presentation. Make sure it's not copyright protected so you don't have any problems when sharing your presentation on any platforms. Photopia has a full library of music to download and use for free. The wizard will create your slideshow and sync your slides to the music. 
Look at the results. Chances are it will be a good start, but far from perfect. So take note of everything you don't like. If you want, you can restart the wizard and see if the result is better. An important setting for your videos. By default, when you import a video into your presentation, it reduces the music and allows the audio of the video to take over. If you don't want that to happen, you have to modify the settings. I'll create a separate video just for that because it's kind of tricky and took me a while to figure out. Step six. Once you approve the wizard, modify all the slides you don't really like by hand. I usually change the slides with multiple images so they match somehow, same content, same location, same artist. It makes more sense that way. I always remove all the holiday themes and transitions. Snowflakes, Christmas ornaments, things like that. I remove every slide theme and transition I don't like. I create a favorites list of all the best ones so I can quickly apply them to all the ones I replaced. To add them to favorites, you just click on the yellow star and voila, the transition is now in your favorites. There are four different layouts in Photopia. I mostly use the advanced layout, but you should take the time to visit all the different options to familiarize yourself with the application. The more you use it, the more you'll become accustomed to all its more advanced functions. Edit manually, include videos, trim videos, add music, sync the slides to music, mix the slides together, change the themes, slides, transitions, until you like it. Export your video. You're done. And you probably have a pretty amazing slideshow that you can play at any event, any meeting, on TV, on your social media platforms, and people will love them. Earlier in this video, I told you I was going to share with you the perfect workflow to get all your best photos and videos ready to import into Photopia's wizard. So open Lightroom Cloud or Lightroom Classic. In library, import all your photos with tags and keywords. Choose the best photos by adding the stars. No star won't be included in the slideshow. In develop, review and enhance your star photos. Crop the photos, basic color, auto, then manual with white balance, enhance the clarity, exposure, contrast, shadows, whites, blacks, vignette, remove the duplicates, export in a folder with a unique name for the presentation. You will not lose the originals. All the edits are done on top of the original, but you will keep the original photos intact by using Lightroom. For videos, crop them, clean them, color them with your phone or Premiere Pro or any other video editing application. Export just the portion you want for your presentation. I hope you learn how to use Photopia easily by watching this video. I hope you'll like the video and subscribe to this channel if you want to continue receiving tips to help in your future media projects. Check out the resources linked in the description of this video and make sure to watch the slideshow I created with Photopia to show all the great murals in Miami so that you get an idea of the end result you can accomplish using Photopia. I did it exactly as shown in this tutorial. So let me know if you like Photopia in the comments below. I personally have been using it quite a lot since I discovered it. Also, let me know if you have suggestions for great apps that produce amazing content. All right, that's it. See you soon.